Hey there, Thunderbird users. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create custom themes for Thunderbird. Whether you want to make your email client unique or just match your favorite colors, this guide is for you. We'll cover static themes, dynamic themes, message windows, and even advanced theme experiments. Let's get started. So what are themes? Themes are Thunderbird add-ons that allow you to change its appearance. You can customize everything from the window colors to background images and even specific UI elements. There are two main types of themes. One, static themes, simple and unchanging. Two, dynamic themes, themes that change based on certain conditions. We'll start with static themes. Static themes are, as the name suggests, static. They don't change once applied. Here's how you can create your very own static theme. Step one, files you need. You'll need two key files, a manifest.json file and an image file, like image.png or image.je for the theme background, which can be created very easily in Canva, for example. It should be 3000 by 200 pixels in size. The file can be saved in PNG or JPG format. Step two, writing the manifest.json. The manifest.json file tells Thunderbird how your theme should look. Let's look at an example. Manifest version defines the format version. Use version 2 or 3. ID, this is a unique identifier for your theme. Images, sets the background image. Colors, defines UI colors, like the frame or text. Step 3, packaging your theme. Once your manifest.json and image file are ready, compress them into a zip file. Now start Thunderbird. Go to the Tools menu and then to Add-ins and Themes. Switch to the Themes tab and click on the cogwheel symbol. Now select Install Add-on from File in the menu and select your zip file. Confirm the process by clicking on the Add button. Your created theme is now installed. Now let's take things up a notch with dynamic themes. These themes can change over time or based on specific triggers. Dynamic themes are extensions that use the update method in the theme API. For example, the night and day theme changes colors depending on the time of day. Dynamic themes let you use JavaScript to change properties like colors and images. You can create conditions such as time or user input to trigger these changes. If you're comfortable with coding, dynamic themes offer endless possibilities. By default, Thunderbird themes don't modify message compose windows or message display tabs, but don't worry, you can still style them by injecting CSS files using the web extension API. Use the browser toolbox to find CSS selectors. Modify the UI by adding or overriding CSS properties. Theme experiments are great for advanced users and can even inspire new features for Thunderbird in the future. And there you have it. By following these steps, you can create stunning static themes, dynamic themes, and even experiment with advanced customizations for Thunderbird. Write us a comment if you have a question about dynamic or standard themes. We will be happy to help you with the installation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Have fun theming, and let me know in the comments which type of theme you plan to create. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.